Hi, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. Before I get into it, I want to talk really quickly about Triple Sleeve TCG. Triple Sleeve TCG is a website where you can go and purchase case splits, booster boxes, and nation splits depending on what nation you guys want to pick up. In these splits, you guys can get full playsets of any card that you need. Triple R's, rares, double R's, you guys name it, you can get your playsets. Please go ahead and check them out at triplesleevetcg.com. Hi, welcome back to another deck profile. My name is Richard, and today we got Overdress Start Deck 1 with uh, our Fluid Queen King Yu Yu Kondo using Dragon Empire for this new series of Overdress. So this is going to be really cool. This is like the main deck you're going to be using for the Virena support. So yeah, let's just take a crack at the first trial deck, or start deck, for Overdress. All right, pull that out. See what we get. So our trial deck is all nicely wrapped up in there. Little paper support thing. And play mat. Play mat. So uh looks like order zones up here, damage zone up to six. The little blue vanguard circle. Ride deck is going to be kind of like off to the side over here. Cool. So it's also got like triggers. The back is blank. That's interesting. Because there's also like no, unless it's in here, there's like no thing about like the rules. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. There's... Oh, wait. Scan to learn more. That's kind of smart. You can just scan the QR code if you want to read more into the rules. All right, all right, Bushy, I see you. We're doing the, the, the QR scan. All right, cool. For sure, for sure. Getting people used to the QR scanners for Vanguard events and stuff. All right. So let's pop this open. Okay, so Nirvana in there, slide this out and get to the whole deck. Cool. So starting off, looks like ride deck is first. So I'm gonna go and go through that first. Cool. So the main grade three boss you're gonna be riding from your ride deck is Chakra Barthi Divine Dragon Nirvana. So the first skill is act once per turn. Discard a card from your hand, choose a grade zero card from your drop zone, call it to rear. So that's just basically the easiest way you set up for Trickstar. Um, Vanguard when it attacks, count less one, and this unit and all of your units with the Overdress ability get 10,000 power. So direct Overdress grade three support. So you get four copies of that. So you are gonna be writing this, but like your, your kind of focus is on the Virena rear guards doing their stuff. So it's like, it's an interesting deck for Dragon Empire for sure. Uh, the grade two for the ride deck is Blaze Maiden Ryu, Ryu. When this is wrote upon by Chakra Brathi Barthi, Chakra Barthi Divine Dragon Nirvana, Soul Bless One, search your deck for up to one Virena, reveal it and put it into your hand. Oh, so you just directly get whichever one you want. So depending on what the matchup is or what the moment is at the time, you can just get your Virena. That's cool. Uh, Vanna Rear, during the battle that this attacked, this gets 2k. So this is literally just a ride. <laughs> You're not going to use it for anything else. So you get four of that. Grade one. Blaze Maiden, Rene, Rene, I believe. No, Rhine. Rhino, Reno, Reno. Blaze made in Reno. I thought that was an E at the end for a second. When this unit is wrote upon by Blaze made in Ryu, this one, uh, search your deck for up to one Trickstar. Call it to rear and shuffle your deck so you can get Trickstar early. If they retire it, you just use Nirvana to bring it back. Cool. So you just get Trickstar out. During the battle, this attack gets 2k. So yeah, just use it for the right skill. Really cool art. And we got the egg, Sunrise Egg, the starter. When this is wrote upon, 
If you win second, you draw a card. So this is cool. Uh, I just thought it would have been funnier if they actually made it like the egg and then the grade one, like a chicken, grade two, bigger chicken, and then the grade three is like the dragon uh, bird thing. So it kind of like actually felt like a, an evolutionary chain. But I feel like Bushy wanted to avoid that because then they would feel like people would think that you need to follow the, the evolution to make it like, I want to say aesthetically pleasing. So I think this is this is fine too, just different forms doing their thing. So you can mix it up if there's better ride support in the future. All right, on to the main deck. So for grade threes, so this is the other grade three that's in the deck. It is during the battle that this unit attacked, this unit gets 2k. That is really bad. Like really, really, really bad. So as soon as you get your um, Firena Valientes or whatever they're called, um, get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, on to grade twos. So we got Virena. This one is just Virena name alone. There's other versions of Virena in the booster set. There's another grade two version, which I think helps you draw cards, and the other grade three, which is more aggressive and it resands itself, stuff like that. So what does this one do? Uh, when this unit is in the overdressed state, attacks a vanguard, this unit gets 10k until the end of battle. Then, so last two, choose when your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So control, power, so it's Pretty basic trial deck card, so that's really cool. I like the play style for this, for like when you're gonna introduce a new concept in the game. This is this is a cool keyword, uh, overdress right there, and it says Trickstar, so this has to go on top of Trickstar for it to work. Where is Trickstar? There he is. Surprised they didn't put him next, but I'm you know keeping him in order, ones, then zeros. So Trickstar is a grade zero. It says this cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effect, so it can't be locked, can't be retired, but it can be, can be attacked. So that's cool. Trickstar is like a protection plan there. Yeah. I actually don't know if there's any full art Trickstars, but I would sure hope there are some. So, so that's what you do. You just put Virena over Trickstar, and that's how you put it into the overdressed state. So... Trick, the Trickstar stays underneath Virena, kind of like as if Virena had its own soul, and it just stays like that, which is dope. So yeah. Next up, let's see, 8k Vanilla with no skill. Hang on, just the other? Yeah, these are 8ks too with 5k shields, so I don't know why. I feel like I do remember this when they were revealing it in Japan, but... I guess we're keeping back vanillas. At least give it bigger shield if you're gonna make a vanilla. This is just like useless, useless. Um, PGs. So you get four of these. Um, uh, and then you can't get draw PGs later because we don't have draw PGs anymore. So PGs are back to being grade ones. Um, the basic PGs are 7K, which is kind of like in V series. When this is put on the guardian circle, discard a card, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until the end of battle. So basic PG skill. The newer PGs have skills that are, uh, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I will go back and look at that eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, the newer PGs have an additional skill, so I think those are the ones you want to go after. They're in the next booster set, DBT01, the glorious five greats, whatever it's called, Genesis of the five greats. Um, but if you're on a budget and you really can't go out of your way to get PGs for whatever reason, you still got the trial deck ones, which is really nice for budget players that just want to jump into the game right away as fast as possible. Oh, here's Trickstar. Cool. Now we're on Trickstar. So you have four copies of Trickstar, so you don't have to worry about running out. You search it out. Cool. Run for Trickstar. It's good. <laughs> Over trigger. So this is the overture that comes in all the trial decks. Um, Spiritual King of Determination, Albaria. Uh, it says in the card text, uh, you can only have one over trigger, so over one million power. When revealed for a trigger, remove that card. So remove this when you reveal it. Draw a card, choose one of your units and it gets one million power until the end of turn. 
If revealed during drive check, you activate the additional effect, which the additional effect is choose one of your units and it gets a million power until the end of the turn. So two units get a million power. So if you damage check it, you can bake your Vanguard in another front row unit. And then the, both of those basically cannot be hit, which is cool. Um, yeah. Uh, the other over triggers are obviously better because they're for each nation. They have their own categories and abilities. But this one is an elemental, so you can use it for all the decks. So that's nice. They put it in the trial deck so everyone can get a little, little taste of over triggers. So for the other triggers, we got Blaze Maiden Zone, crit. Uh, when revealed as a trigger, choose one of your units and it gets a crit until the end of turn. Choose one units and it gets 10k power. I do like that they separated that so people know that that is two separate things you can do. When it's revealed, you pick a unit to get a crit, then pick a unit to get 10k power. So it kind of implies that you can split it in the card text. That's really nice. Because I feel like that could be kind of like shallowed out for players that haven't been around for a while. They might think they, they have to stack together. Draw trigger. I reveal for a trigger. Draw a card, then choose one units, and it gets 10k. So cool. Easy peasy. Draw triggers. 5k. Oh, the triggers. Triggers still have 15k shield, which is nice. Um, 15k front. Oh, I almost got lost. The artworks. Uh, you get three fronts. So probably, since you can only still have 16 triggers in a deck, uh, you're doing three of this and one over trigger. So that kind of fits like the fourth slot if this were to be another front. So if you want to run more fronts, you would have to mix it up. But I do think the crits are better. So don't worry about running fronts in the Virena Nirvana deck. Um, stick with crits, over triggers, and, and draws, I think is what people are pretty much doing for the most part. So. Maybe people are running fronts. I feel like that would be make sense since you can just focus on giving the power to the rear guard Virena as well and still kind of make your Vanguard like beefy. But I feel like crits win games and people want to stack crits. So probably run crits. <laughs> uh, for heal, um, heal triggers are now 15k shield instead of 20, which is really sad. Um, and then you can only have up to four heal triggers when revealed as a trigger. Choose one of your units, gets 10k, and then if your damage is equal to or greater than your opponent's, you choose a card from damage and heal it. So that works really nice for that one too. Lastly in the back, we got three copies of an order. Uh, put uh, Play this with Kenoblast 1. Choose one of your units and it gets 5k. Choose a Virena from drop and put it into your hand. Okay, that's actually really dope. So if for whatever reason, you can't search out Virena anymore because there doesn't seem to be any other Virena search support other than the Grade 2. Yeah, so the Grade 2, but it only works when you ride on top of it, so it's like the one time you'll get off the effect. So that's the only thing you're going to have to look out for. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty dope that they gave you um, an order to help kind of fix that problem. So... Let me see if I can put the artworks together because it's always fun to do. Crit goes there. Then we go all the way to the zero, zero, three, one, and the two. And give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them all together so we get the full artwork going because they all line up. So we got that and the wings of Nirvana link up with the one and the two. And these kind of link up at the bottom, and there we go. That's the that's the full artwork for the deck, which is really dope. I like I like that bushy up. Take the time to do this for full artwork. All right, so that was the unboxing. Um, I'm looking forward to you guys seeing this deck updated by one of the guys on the team. I will be focusing on Keter Sanctuary as is tradition, and. Yeah, I really think that the Virena deck is a fun deck. Meta-wise, tier two, I think, is where it's at for the most part. Um, but overall, a fun deck. And so I think it also has a lot of cool aesthetics. You got like, it basically kind of reminds everyone of Chrono Jet Dragon. So 
I if it were up to me and I was a dragon more of a dragon empire dragon aesthetic guy this deck seems like a really fun like a lot of fun so if you want to play a dragon red themed deck this is great go for it 100% <laughs> thank you guys again for watching if you guys haven't got any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section below and real quick before I go, I want to leave one more big thank you to Triple Sleeve TCG for providing the box today for the unboxing. You guys should definitely check out their website, triplesleevetcg.com. It's where if you want to upgrade these start decks, um, you can go and buy case split bundles for um, DBT02, uh, I think they're doing right now. So you can get full play sets of every card that of the nation you want that comes in the set. So you'll have everything you'll need to upgrade the deck, no problem. So definitely check out the website, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.